Anthony Edwards and the Minnesota Timberwolves have been one of the best teams in the NBA this season, and they have the pieces to be dangerous for years to come. You asked for it and we delivered, it's Fan Friday, and you, the fans, chose today's topic for BVM Sports Point of View. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know if you think the Timberwolves can continue their winning ways. I think there are plenty of reasons to believe they can. They have all-star level players, a solid bench unit, and their coach has proven he knows how to win in his first few seasons. Of course, it all starts with the Ant-Man. The all-star guard is scoring nearly 25 points a game while still finding ways to distribute the ball to the tune of five assists a game. He's taken huge strides on defense and looks to be a true number one option on a future championship team. And he definitely hasn't been without help. Carl Anthony Towns has been the ideal partner in crime for Edwards. As you know, Towns has previous experience being the number two option back when Jimmy Butler was in town. That pairing couldn't have been more different from what we've seen from Edwards and Towns. The duo has developed an obvious chemistry that was never reached on previous iterations of the Wolves, and it's showing. Towns is scoring 22 points per game while keeping his efficiency up and remaining focused on rebounding and protecting the paint. Towns is in his prime right now, and that bodes well for the future of the Wolves. Then you have fellow big man Rudy Gobert, who had a tumultuous start to his stint in Minnesota, but has since silenced the haters and is playing like the Defensive Player of the Year candidate that we've been accustomed to seeing from him. Just look at this play from their recent game against the Miami Heat. All three stars participated in this crowd-sparking play that would eventually lead to a 17-point comeback victory to remain firmly on top of the Western Conference. Those big three have been the leaders of the team, but the role players have pushed the Wolves from a good team to a title contender. Mike Connolly is the veteran presence, uh, a point guard that the offense uh, needs to keep clicking. Nas Reed has been a fan favorite for years and is finally getting more national recognition for his impact on the game that doesn't always show up on the stat sheet. You add into the mix Jaden McDaniels, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, and Kyle Anderson, and you have a deep rotation that doesn't lose the, lose the flow as players sub in and out. Now let's zoom out and take a look at the whole picture. The Wolves' defense has been far and away the best in the league through 25-plus games. After being relatively average last season, they're top five in rebounds and blocks and have individual defenders who can match up with anyone on any day. There's also been a noticeable culture shift in Minnesota. There had always been talent on this Wolves team, but head coach Chris Finch has tapped into their top end potential and the NBA is taking notice. Here's what Indiana Pacers head coach Rick Carlisle had to say after a recent defeat to the Wolves. This is one of the best teams on the planet and uh, these guys have really got it going here. Uh, the building is alive. The environment is way different than it used to be. Um, you know, I take my hat off to Tim Connolly and, and his his operation. You know, for everything they've done, the new ownership group. I mean, this is this is a different feeling place, and they've got some real stars. Carlisle and the rest of the league noticed the improvement of the team has greatly affected the atmosphere and the fans in Target Center, who have been waiting for their team to be as exciting as the night Patrick Beverly tosses jersey in the stands. Now they've got it, and the Wolves are showing no signs of slowing down. They are young, healthy, and playing a brand of basketball that could lead them to their first championship in franchise history. Another change to the Wolves that not many are talking about is the decision that Anthony Edwards made this past offseason. Be sure to check out our recent point of view to hear more on that. Enjoy the holidays with your family and friends, and we will see you here next week.